So I have one one um, breast ca- breast cancer patient who did have um, actually she had a bilateral mastectomy. She did have the chemo. She did have the radiation, and she was almost dead. I mean, she was so sick after all of that. And uh, by the time I when I first talked to her, she had found a natural product that really revived her. It really helped her immune system, and she was, you know, pretty hopeful that this would cure her. So what we did is we, we did this blood test. It's called the AMAS test. And uh, unfortunately, it showed her number was over 200, well over 200, which meant the cancer was still there despite all, you know, the chemo, the radiation, the surgery, and this, this uh, alternative supplement she was taking. So she finished the alternative supplement. She had just, when I, we did the first test, she'd just gotten started on it. So one month later, she, she had done the bulk of her, you know, of the, of the supplement according to directions. We repeated the blood test, and her number had come down from 220 to 191, I believe. So still very high. Didn't cure the cancer. Then we added the miracle. And I instructed her to start with seven drops, but then go up, you know, as, as she could tolerate it, um, as, you know, up to, you know, a couple of teaspoons or a tablespoon a day, and to bathe. One month later, we did the blood test for her, and it was down to 41. Oh, that's fantastic. It meant that it cured her cancer. So she was a very happy lady, and I, I continue to be amazed and just thank the Lord for for a gift. I've been sharing it with so many of my patients. I, there are so many good reports that I've gotten back. I just, uh, you know, I just don't know what to say. Well, you know, I had a question emailed to me about uh, cataracts and about diabetes. Do you have anything with that? Um, my mother has diabetes, and what she has noticed is that uh, her blood sugars are going very low. She has only been using the Miracle now for, I would say, perhaps one month. And so she's still not quite knowing how to adjust her insulin and the Miracle. So actually she's having some reactions that are are kind of, uh, you know, not very healthy because her blood sugar is going so low and she hasn't quite gotten the hang of adjusting the insulin. So it's definitely lowering her blood sugar. So, you know, I think diabetics who are on insulin, they need to be a bit careful because this does lower blood sugar and you have to really be on top of things. Well, now, what, how much was she taking? Um, she was, hmm, she was taking, I told her to start with seven drops a day, but I think she's just doing, you know, pouring a little bit into the water. I don't know that she, she measures it, but she's not taking a large amount. I mean, you know, okay. a little bit from the bottle. Okay, and what if someone had diabetes but not on insulin? What do you think they should do? Okay, I have a patient like that, too, and he, uh, after he started on the Miracle, two weeks later he was uh, he was back for more because he was going on vacation and he didn't want to be without it. But what he said was that every time he uses it, it lowers his blood sugar by about 10 or 15 points, and he says he uses 10 drops. Seven drops doesn't do it for him. Ten drops will lower his blood sugar. Great. See, that's it. Yep. That's what we need to know. I mean, <laughs> so people. Yeah, so out there. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I am fairly new with this, so I don't have a lot of experience. But, but that's that's what um, that's what one of my diabetic patients told me. Great. How about cataracts? Now, have you have you had any patients with that? And 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 I do that? have one patient that I'm due. He started on it um, just under a month ago, and I'm due to to check back with him next week. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what he's going to tell me. But I, I have talked to Clayton, and he tells me cataracts are a piece of cake. <laughs> I have no direct experience with it. <laughs> a piece of cake. Well, you know, after our last, last week call, I've got so many calls about cataracts, and that's why I wanted mm-hmm. to um, find out more. Maybe we can get um, some people that had cataracts or have cataracts mm-hmm. and, and let us know. Well, now, how much yeah. are you having this man use? Well, what are you doing with um, him? Well, initially he started putting six or seven drops in each eye, but it, when you do that, it runs out. You know, it, it's sort of wasting it, I think. So I suggest that he just do about two or three drops, you know, until it starts running out of your eye, and, and 
rather than doing six or seven drops once a day, do two or three drops a couple, three times a day. It just makes more sense to me. Yeah. Yes, same here. Yes. Pat, this is Ann. Um, Clayton recommends that they use uh, uh, an eye cup and fill it and uh, roll the head back, lay on, on the bed, roll the head back, and, and just um, wash the eye and kind of bat it around with the eyelid for four or five minutes. Mention um, in the two or three months that I've been recommending it to patients, I have uh, one, one patient that... Um, Actually, I recommended the products to her because she has very severe pain. And another condition that she has is bad sinusitis. And um, shortly after I recommended the products to her, she went out of the country, took a vacation, and kind of forgot about it. While she was gone, her sinuses were perfectly clear. She came back to Wisconsin, and the minute the plane landed, she was hit full force with a, a bad sinus headache, I mean a disabling headache. She suffered with it for three days and then remembered, oh yeah, that doctor gave me some stuff to take, maybe it'll help. Put seven drops in water and within minutes, she, it, it just cleared it up. I mean, it just, <laughs> it just cleared it up. So I was hoping it would help her pain, and it is. I mean, she's cutting back on her pain medication. She's been using it now, I'd say, maybe two months. And one of her pain meds she's cut in half, and the other she's cut down by 25%. And her sinuses are much better. So, oh, yeah, that was terrific. impressive. That's great. Okay. I have a lot of people that come back for more, you know, within two weeks or, or you know, a couple weeks. Um, back aches have gotten better. Coughs have gotten better within a week. Um, mm. I, it just seems like so many conditions now. I don't. I you know I'm having trouble remembering them all. But uh, oh, skin, skin stuff. Um, a couple of people have told me that within a week they could tell that their skin was healthier. The itch, the chronic itch, wasn't happening anymore. They could just feel an improvement. You know, after a week. Yeah, we've heard I a lot. Know, I, I guess maybe this doesn't impress you all because you've been using it for a longer time than me. But like I said, I'm still pretty new at this. And, you know, when my patients, when I have one product that I can recommend to just about everybody who walks into my office and know that it's going to help or there's a really good chance it's going to help, I just, I feel so blessed to have this, you know, to have have found this and to be able to offer this to people and, and see these kind of products interesting that the seven drops works for you you know that for you and for how many people you've told about it i mean some people are doing ounces well i hear that some people are doing ounces and i when, what i tell what, well okay my daughter has fibromyalgia she took seven drops she, she didn't use it right away she was skeptical like i was and uh when she finally used it she had been in a three-day flare you know, she basically was in bed for three days, and uh, she decided to use it because she felt it couldn't get much worse than it was, so she used seven drops, and the next morning, she was 70% improved in her pain, seven drops. So, like, you know, I'm wondering why would anybody ever get more than one bottle of this? Seven drops a day, one bottle is going to last you about four years, you know? <laughs> I, started, I, started I know, I know, but... You know how some of us are, don't you? You know, if a little bit works, we've got to have a lot more. Well, yeah, I was <laughs> like that, too, you know. <laughs> Once I realized people are taking a quarter cup, and, you know, I've, I've, I've heard of people taking up to a half a cup a day, so that's when I increase my dose to, you know, a teaspoon, two teaspoons. I just pour. I don't measure. Well, now, do you, notice, the, do you notice any difference in going from seven drops to what you pour? Well, I notice that... Well, the first thing I noticed was my that lump went away. But I've noticed since then that circulation has improved. Parts of my body that were always cold are not cold anymore. That was that was interesting too. I started feeling my skin, and for about three weeks I thought I was having a fever because I was warm for the first time in my life. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, this is normal circulation. How nice! 